you today welcome back to an online English session today is a spelling or phonetics phonics lesson it's about Greek word parts and before we start please you read your practice book page 342 about the video and get your book I'm just waiting for you okay okay and before we start let's remind each other about this picture word morphology by the way look here in the purple color the word prefix and in the green in the white one root word and the end suffix that means that each word if there's a prefix attached it to the beginning it means prefix and if any group of word that attach it to the end it's suffix so again the meanings prefix that are group of letters that attach it to the beginning of the word to change the meaning and suffix a group of layers that attach it to the beginning of the, uh, the end of the sentence to change the meaning and here are two examples enjoyable and and unpacking these are two examples so let's get started and before we start watch this video please and we'll come back again hello and welcome to latin and greek root words in this video, you'll learn tricks for spelling, reading, and understanding the meaning of words. Before watching this video, be sure to watch the video called prefixes and the one called suffixes. Then, come back to this one. You already know that prefixes are groups of letters that come before a word that change the meaning of the word, and that suffixes are a group of letters that come after a word to also change the meaning of a word. In this video, we will look at the main words, or the root words, that prefixes and suffixes are often attached to. It's important to know word origins, or roots, to help you spell, read, and understand the meaning of words. When you know the Latin, Greek, or French meaning of the word, you will better understand the English meaning. Be careful, though. Not all root words are words by themselves. Many need prefixes or suffixes to be actual words. Let's look at some example of root words. The root word by is Greek for two or twice. Can you figure out how to read these words then? Can you also figure out their meaning? Since cycle means to pedal in a circular motion, and by means two, this word means two pedals in circular motions. We know it as this object. We ride with two pedals and also two wheels, called a bicycle. Since focal has to do with focusing the eyes, and bi means two, this word means two lenses used to focus with the eyes, or bifocals. Let's look at another root word. Inter is the Latin root meaning between or among. The word international then means between nations. The word internet means between networks. Fun, isn't it? Ist is a Latin root word, specifically from the French, that means someone who does. In English, we have dropped the final E in this root. A person whose styles is called a stylist. A person who works with flowers is called a florist. A person who plays the guitar is called a guitarist. What would a person who cares for teeth be called? Yes, a dentist. Dent means teeth in French as well. Do you see how knowing the meaning of root words helps you understand the meaning of the whole word? It will also help you spell the words when you want to write them. Here are some common root words. Can you guess their meanings? It would be impossible to memorize all the root words in the English language, 
but you can practice some of the more popular routes in our fun games. Until next time, always be clever. Okay guys, we'll come back again. She said that it will be impossible to memorize all the Greek, Greek Latin roots, but still, practice makes perfect. So practice more, then you get better. So let's get started one or some of the Greek Latin words today. Some of them here is phobia, logi, and ism. And let's see the meanings of these. She already said est, which means someone who does phobia phobia which means fear logi which means the study of something like when I say the word uh, technology the study of technology technology you no know, really technology or geology or biology all of these words and the word ism which means the state or quality of something or you could say the action or result of something let's see the words we have today by the way I'm just saying the words and you repeat after me then I tell you the meanings the word first word we have today the word artist artist what is the root word here the word art you know really know art est which means someone who does art and you see the meaning this is a noun by the way the person who creates work of art especially paintings uh, or drawings Yes, excellent. Again, the word artist. Next word, the word geology. Geology. After me, please. Geology. What part of speech? Noun. Excellent. And what does mean? The study of earth or the earth. And next word, the word violinist. The word violinist. Violinist. After me, violinist. Again, the root word is violin and the Greek root is est violinist again it's a noun and what means person who plays the violin okay next the word geology geology zoology zoology okay and it's a noun by the way it's the scientific study of animals and their behavior zoology tourism 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 okay and it's a noun and which means business of priv providing things for people to do places for them to stay while they are on holiday okay next word the word cartoonist 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 okay and it means someone who draws cartoon 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 I'm sorry cartoonist cartoonist next word the word ecology ecology do you know ecosystem ecology the study of environment yes the study of relation of plants and living creatures to each other and their environment so this is the word is ecology ecology claustrophobia 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 phobia means fear yes excellent phobia again means fear and claustrophobia which means if you the fear of being in a small places it's called claustrophobia the word biology 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 Inshallah, next two years, maybe grade seven, you will study biology, or you already started studying. I don't know. The study of life. It's the word biology. Next, technology. Technology. The study of modern scientific knowledge used in practical ways in industry. The study of scientific knowledge used in practical ways in industry. This is technology you already know next word patriotism 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 and what does it mean patriotism it's a noun yes right 
patriotism, love of your country and willing to defend it. Patriotic, patriotic if you are a person who loves this country, it's an adjective, but patriotism, it's a noun. Capitalism, 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 again, capitalism is a system by the government, an economic system in which a country, business, and industry are controlled by private owners than the government. Capitalism, again, is an economic system in which the country, business, and industry are controlled by private owners than the government. This is capitalism. Phobia, which means fear. Yes. And a strong, a strong and reasonable fear of something. Why do you fear? I don't know, but it's just phobia of something. Next word, journalism, 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 it's a noun, and does mean the work of collecting, writing news stories for newspaper or magazine. You know the word journal, journalist, journalism, this is the work of collecting and writing news stories, news stories for newspapers or magazines. The word vocalist, vocalist. Vocalist is a sinner, especially in a pop, rock, or jazz band. Again, it's sinner. Oh, by the way, there is a mistake here. S I N G E R. It's not sinner. This mistake here. S I N G E R. Sinner. Okay. Novelist. Novelist is already a person who writes novels. Yes, a person who writes novels this is novelist next heroism 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 is like the courage of something or bravery very great courage okay it's the word heroism heroism hydrophobia hydrophobia let me remind you the word phobia which means fear and hydro which means uh, all related to water so the meaning is extreme fear of water meteorology meteorology it's a noun and which means the study of earth's atmosphere and its changes by the way this word used especially for uh, forecasting forecasting the weather uh, for say what the weather would be like today and so this word meteorology uh, especially forecasting the weather next word and the last one I think technophobia technophobia uh, phobia means fear again and mean the fear of using modern machines such as computers this is the last word so let's get started to answer page 342 it's bracts guys oh I didn't change page 342 the first one classify write the list where that fits best fits each group one animal study science the study of animals it's Zoology, yes, zoology, excellent. Number two, travel, pleasure, recreation, it's, yes, when you travel somewhere and you feel pleasure because it's holiday or something like that, so it's tourism, tourism, excellent. And uh, something else, definitions, that one. Oh, by the way, the rest is your homework, do it and send me back. Uh, definitions 11 persistent abnormal fear or dislike yes fear it's abnormal unreasonable reasonable it's phobia excellent 12 one who draws a comic strip comic strip someone who draws something it's cartoonist cartoonist excellent um, 15 is oh, so easy an abnormal fear of technology technophobia excellent 
something else mm, 17 love and devotion to one's country yes, it's what patriotism patriotism okay guys page 342 is your homework and as you as always page let me remind 347 and do not forget to memorize this word is and how to memorize them read it 10 times say it 10 times and write it three times and you will not forget it stay home stay safe and take care thank you for listening guys assalamu alaikum